I start I started right there and I dropped in and up on that lift, did a pop shove it. All my skate friends called me Gecko because I do this with my hands when I skate. <laughs> oh that now we have you should not have told <laughs> I'm sending some texts to some art department immediately. <laughs> On the quarter pipe here, came up over the pyramid, hit through this bowl, uh, and then like did some sort of manual and a kickflip over here, back up over and did a. You worked the bowl. I did a roast beef coming out of there. The old roast beef, you know. Nobody, nobody did those grabs. My dad would show up and just rock it in here and all the all the teenagers would be like wait what but like, then you notice when you come back it always seems a lot smaller 100 percent. like that that angle there like like that seemed way larger it seems like not very large when you're not on a skateboard yeah so it's easy to talk about but like as soon as we're standing on a skateboard again we're back to being nine and this is all terrifying my buddy There's russell one. campbell Crooked grinded the box down, and it was like that, that sounds dude's totally going, different. That dude's going pro. So we've come to Shelton, Washington, for the Olympus Rally, the second rally that the team is is going to be involved in, and this happened to be about 40 miles from the town where I grew up. So I took this chance to take Travis and Dave and Rihanna to show them kind of where all this stuff started. We're at the Silverdale Skate Park right now, where I essentially learned to skateboard and get into action sports when I started idolizing guys like Travis. So this is really cool to kind of show them around town. And I'm gonna take them to all the cool spots and we're heading there to meet some of my old friends that were doing this with me 25 years ago. My name is Andrew McMullen. Um, I'm from Paulsville, Washington originally. I've known Jared since Way back in the day, I mean, first memory I recall is like Pee Wee baseball. Last time I saw him, after not seeing him for, I don't know, 15, 20 years, you know, since high school, like nothing changed. Like Insta friend, like what's up buddy? Like just like it is today, you know, we're reconnecting from again like three years ago since I last saw him or two years ago and it's like, same all. Hey, I'm Casey Schmidt, one of Jared's longtime friends back from junior high. Uh, we actually met in seventh grade. He was one of my, my buds back in the day that we used to ride bikes together, skateboard, and come to find out, like his dad, who was uh, one of the Navy officers that uh, worked over in the base, uh, he was like an old school San Diego skateboarder. And uh, he'd come out and take us out to the skate park and we'd jam around on that. And we just kind of got into it from, from his dad and picked up some rollerblades and just started, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> start getting after it, I guess. When we were growing up, and like when these skate parks were starting to kind of get, get built around, uh, you know, little communities around the area, it was kind of the start of it all. And so, I mean, I I was always the BMXer guy. I would say that like if you were into either skating or BMX um, around this town, you saw each other recurringly, whether it be at the skate park or you're doing some video stuff and. Uh, this or that and I don't know you just come kind of like naturally become friends when we were in eighth grade the Paulsbo City Council decided to fund the building of a skate park and Casey was the only one that showed up to the City Council meeting he somehow found out that it was going on and you, you had two separate sides of town where we started at in the morning at the Silverdale Park and then over here so like we're all over here during the week and for us all to get to the Silverdale Park was, fuck, you know, hundreds of miles to us on a skateboard. Yeah. So he shows up and he's like, they're building the possible skate park. And we're like, what, what? No, they're not. You're full of shit. And he's like, and I designed it. I'm like, what? Now kidding? we know you're back. Yeah. <laughs> the fuck are you talking about? He's like, yeah, I was checking the city council meetings. So now we really know you're full of shit. Who the fuck is just checking city council meetings? Not every hero wears a cape. And we had heard that they were getting some funding to put together a skate park. So we go, and we're like, oh yeah, we want to show our support, you know? And we go there and it's like, the meeting starts and you know we're in like I don't, sixth or seventh grade and nobody else shows up and there's the council people there and we're kind of just hanging out like fuck all right i guess you know this is the thing and so i guess somebody at some point had paid an actual skate park designer from out of town to put together a schematic and it was terrible so we kind of just looked at it and we're like oh man maybe if we take that same ramp and sort of like just readjust it here and the people from the city council, you know, they had no idea. So they're just like, yeah, I mean, you guys are here and you're kids. You want to have a good time. So they're just like, yeah, let's just go for it. And, I, and you know, a couple months later, they came in and poured the concrete slab. And over the you know course of a few months, 
the ramp started popping up and I've only been here like every once a year for the last like 10 years of my it's life. Always rain. It's rained every single time. There, there is, I mean, it looks like this it's is part of a seawall. <laughs> yeah, wall. there's moss on your ramps, man. Like, like, dude, I remember, I think it was about 1999, I want to say that he was playing in a, a band down on the stage over there and they were doing ska. Yeah. And we came There's over and was- Yeah, dude, and uh, Justin Klein and I were over here rollerblading. Roller oh, <laughs> yeah. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. That's that, Stuart. Rollerblading. <laughs> Sorry. That's just, that's just... The thing nowadays, you know, I look at Jared and I'm like, you know, completely looking through the window at his whole world of what he's gotten into and it's it's amazing. I'm super stoked for him and I'm, I'm just super happy how this all came together for him to be out here simultaneously with everybody uh, and we're gonna be definitely be up there and uh, chilling, watching it, and hanging out and seeing what it's all about. So super stoked. He's always kind of been the same guy. You know, he was planning pranks back then, just trying to find funny ways to do crazier and crazier shit and wanted to put it on video. Jared was always doing his own thing. He was always an artist from day one. He'd be doing cartooning in his room and uh, he just he just kept it going. And it's fun now to like see years later, he's still doing filming, he's still doing funny shit. He's just living his dream. He's just doing it now on a much higher level.